Good day all. Here is Kishika from Amrit Indo Canadian Academy studying in plus one medical. This is my video assignment for subject biology, chapter 2 biological classification. Today's video assignment is about bacteria. A friend or a foe? So first of all, what is a bacteria? Bacteria which comes below the kingdom monera are single celled prokaryotic organisms. Bacteria encompass two domains, eubacteria and archaea. Let us first talk about friendly bacteria. According to Lezovic or intestinal tissue and immune system do not develop normally without bacteria. Bacteria serve a metabolic role. For example, through a process of fermentation, they break down indigestible food residue such as fiber into useful components the body can assimilate. Moving further comes the bacteria we all are familiar with, rhizobium. It is a bacteria found in the soil which supplies ammonia to the plants, which is crucial for the growth of the plants. Now comes streptomyces. The prescription antibiotics that are used to treat bacterial infections are produced using streptomyces. And hence, these bacteria are often referred to as the good bacteria. Next is Lactobacillus acidophilus. We all are quite aware of its functions. These bacteria are crucial in converting milk into curd. Dairy products like milk are exposed to the microbial activity of the Lactobacillus acidophilus bacteria in order to produce yogurt. But as every coin has two sides, bacteria are also bad if they are good. It's time to flip the coin to see the bad side. There are many diseases which are caused by the bacteria, such as cholera, leprosy, tuberculosis, syphilis, anthrax, and so on. If you consume or come in contact with harmful bacteria, they may reproduce in your body and release toxins that can damage your body tissues and make you feel ill. Harmful bacteria are called pathogenic bacteria because they cause disease and illness like strep throat, staph infections, cholera, tuberculosis and food poisoning. In cases when the human body is exposed to bacteria that the body does not recognize as helpful, the immune system will attack them. Bacteria help shape the world as we know it today. You can find them almost everywhere, on door knobs, in depths of the oceans and naturally in the human body as well. There are billions of bacteria in a human body. They act like a fully fledged organ and we have as many of them as we do cells. Many of them are good for health, but some of them are ills. Some types like pathogenic bacteria can cause infectious diseases ranging from a sore throat to life-threatening case of septic shock. Thank you.